It's December 10th on a Thursday. Welcome back to The Daily Mastermind. George Wright III, I'm your host. I hope you're having a great day. I wanna give you a little bit more inspiration, motivation, and education. And I'm gonna start you out with the quote of the day. It's from Larry Wingett. And the quote says simply, if you really gave a damn, you'd do it. Isn't that so true? I tell you what, this goes back to the power of our belief and how the belief will affect our actions. Because you've gotta ask yourself that question. If you truly, truly believed in what you were doing, you would do it. If you truly, truly believed in the dreams and the goals and the things that you've set in your life, you would do it. Well, today I want to talk with you a little bit of how you can get your finances in role and in, in place. And Bill Gates has 10 money tips that we're going to share with you. So I'd like to share those 10 money tips with you from probably one of the best experts to learn from, Bill Gates. So here we go. Now, Bill uh, has had all kinds of different advice and mentoring and things he's done, um, and there's a lot of different sources for this, but these are just 10 things that I think come from him that are partially common sense, but also things that you can really start to rethink as you go towards the end of the year here and you're setting your goals for next year. The first and probably most important is, number one, set a clear goal. Set a clear goal. Obviously, if you're going to be making financial decisions, those decisions should come from a place of a plan or a foundation or a goal that you have for your finances, whether that's to get out of debt, to increase your income, or to build your business revenue source. But set a clear goal. Number two, make the most of what you're given. This is a tough one for a lot of people because we all have problems that we're dealing with times in our life when we're struggling financially or we're trying to expand financially. But solutions don't come from focusing on what you don't have. They come from focusing on what you've been given. So the key is to make the most of what you have and what you have been given financially to this point. That's a real big perspective for your finances you might not be thinking about. And then the third one is persevere, persevere. Success isn't going to come easy, and no one, uh, you know, Gates has been go on, known to go on record and say that, you know, no one makes millions overnight. Willpower is going to be required, and it's required because you have to do things that most people won't do, like budgets. How many of you have actually established a budget, written down what your expenses are, and track it? Because what you track, you're going to get more of. What you monitor will get results, and so having a budget is a key. Number four, Number four is don't turn away from challenges. Don't turn away from challenges. I like this one because it's tough sometimes when we have financial pressure. It starts to get you down. It starts to stress you out. And it makes it difficult rather than looking at it like a challenge. Get your ideas. Get changes made in your, in your finances. Get a side job. Create a side hustle. Cut your expenses. But don't turn away from a challenge, which is what financial um, you know, setbacks can be for you or challenges. Now, number five, tip number five is learn from your losses, not successes. You've heard this a little bit before, but Bill Gates goes on record and says quite, a, quite often, success is a lousy teacher. It seduces smart people into thinking that they can't lose. And I'll tell you, that is so true because many of us, when we get a success, we get confident and we don't really learn as much from success as we do from losses. And if you want to learn, you've got to learn from your losses because then you can eliminate those things in the future from happening over and over again. Okay, so that is number five. Let's go to number six. I wrote down here, follow your passion. Follow your passion. Your passion might not be something that's going to make you rich initially, but it's definitely going to be the fuel that, f that keeps you going and motivates you helps you become ambitious until you become successful. And that's the key. So if you can find what you love to do in whatever job you're doing, in whatever business you have, that little niche, that little, that little angle of following your unique talents and your passion, that's going to help you to stay motivated and you'll have more and more success. Number seven, keep things simple. Keep things simple. You know, Bill Gates talks about um, one of his mentors and good friends, Warren Buffett always tells him, keep things simple. That means just start with the first step. Some of you, if you were to just set up a second bank account to put savings in on an automated basis, it would be a massive, massive help for you. But you've got to keep it simple. Don't overwhelm yourself with the plan. Make sure that you just keep a simple plan and move forward. Okay, number eight, listen to good advice. 
I love this one because it goes right along with prosperity pillar number nine. I'm committed to lifelong learning. And I think it's very important for you to learn to be educated about money. That's one thing we don't talk about a lot. People talk about making more money and starting a business and investing and things, but you've got to truly become educated about money. Meaning, what are you doing to maximize your tax deductions? What are you doing to protect your assets? What are you doing to grow your wealth? What are you doing to create residual income? You've got to look through all of the different aspects of money and start to learn that rather than working for money, you've got to get money to work for you. So listen to good advice. That's one that I, I highly recommend you start putting some attention on. Number nine, gather, manage, and use information to your advantage. Gather, manage, and use information to your advantage. See, a lot of us don't like going through the heavy lifting. A lot of us don't like spending the time to you know, research big ticket items that we have or spend time researching the best credit cards to have or how to lower the costs and the rates on our um, you know, our various bank accounts or our checking accounts. You've got to gather information, manage, and use it to your advantage because over time that's going to compound in a very, very significant way. And then the last financial tip we have is have a strong strategy. See, a lot of us feel like we have goals and that's enough, but goals are not enough. Having a strategy means you're going to have a plan that's actionable to slowly take you where you want to be, meaning reducing your debt, increasing your income, cutting your expenses, expanding your business. You have to have a strategy and it's so important for you to have an overall plan. That's why I, I highlighted these money tips today because some of us kind of go at it from various angles, but we don't go from a comprehensive approach of managing money to grow our wealth. So let's review those real quick. Set a clear goal, make the most of what you're given, persevere, don't turn away from challenges, learn from losses, not successes, Follow your passion, keep things simple, listen to good advice, gather, manage, and use information to your advantage, and have a strong strategy. I believe that if you start to think like this in December, you're going to have an amazing 2021. Let's go into 2021 with a plan, sit down, draw out what your goals are, break it down into some actionable items, and then you can create a plan that you can follow. This goes back to having a plan every day instead of getting up and trying to figure out what you're doing or what you're doing with your business, you'll have a plan that you can execute on. I believe if you'll spend more time learning how to make money work for you, you're going to be far more successful, less stressed, less anxiety. You're going to be happier and um, you've got to be able to take this idea and this topic of money and really drive down and become educated about money. And if you do that, I think you'll, you'll have some great things happen this next year. So that's my message for today, a little bit more financial based from one of the great minds and, and great business leaders, Bill Gates. If there's anything that you have that you'd like to get some feedback on or you'd like us to cover on the podcast, hit me up on The Daily Mastermind, both on Instagram or Facebook, or you can send me a comment on the, the free mobile app um, that most of you have downloaded. But I look forward to talking with you a little bit more tomorrow. And we're going to go through some things tomorrow based on our schedule we're going to have over the next couple of weeks. So definitely tune in tomorrow. I look forward to talking with you then. Once again, this is George Wright III, and this has been The Daily Mastermind.